traveling carnival, weighing at a spectacular 205 pounds, Mr. Charles Crowley. And I got my first taste of Mr. Charles Crowley in person last night, Blake, and I still don't quite know what to make of this gentleman. Gotta ask you, how much did it pain you to have to call him Mr.? I mean, it's it's totally fine just because, you know, it's one of those things where I hated it. I hated every single second of it. And he's got balloons with him tonight. He didn't have that yesterday. You know why that is, though, I guess? Look who's not here. I don't see Sebastian the monkey. He took that frog splash from John Greed last night. And there are many things that you can call Mr. Charles Crowley, and none of them are short of spectacular. The man has a very fluid movement to him, almost hypnotic, and I think it shook John Greed into a bit of a trance. And his opponent, from Psychoville, weighing at 235 pounds, Psycho! Every time I see Psycho Mike's name come up on the trons, I am terrified that I'm going to be the recipient of a body slam, Blake. Have you ever been slammed by Psycho Mike? Not by Psycho Mike, no. Hoping to avoid it. If I could get through my first weekend with Smash without getting body slammed, I'll consider that a win. Don't tell me something like that, because I'll make it happen. Luckily, there's no Psycho Mike body slam challenge today. Now, this is interesting. I, 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 I struggle to find a word other than interesting for what this matchup is going to be because Psycho Mike is his own brand of insanity. Charles Crowley is not seemingly from this realm. We saw Charles Crowley yesterday against John Greed and we've seen this from Charles Crowley back in the UK really get into his opponent's heads with all of this Charles Crowley-ness. Uh, but how do you get into the head of someone like Psycho Mike who is so far in his own head already. Like, this guy wrestled a match against himself once. I, if you're Charles Crowley, I don't know how you even begin to try to play mind games with Psycho Mike. I think the question is, why would you want to? And we are underway. I, I may struggle to call this one, Blake. I'm going to be honest with you. I think Psycho Mike might struggle to wrestle this one. He's already distracted by the balloons. The match just started. Now the question becomes, Blake, can Psycho Mike body slam a balloon? My thought is yes. Well, it's Psycho Mike. All things are possible. So jot that down. The problem is those are helium balloons. It's true, but look at the size of those shoulders that we're talking about. Those are helium shoulders on Psycho Mike. Those things just keep going. Interesting clash of styles here. Personalities aside, Psycho Mike, extremely strong. We saw from Charles Crowley yesterday, though, against John Greed, the ability to use that speed, use that fluidity you mentioned, against a bigger, stronger opponent. This is going to be a very interesting clash of styles because Psycho Mike just kind of does what Psycho Mike wants to do. Well, he also does what the crowd wants him to do. Yesterday against Dalton Castle, five body slams because the crowd kept saying they wanted more. And I think he just tickled Charles Crowley. Oh, teasing the balloon pop once again. I don't know, does Psycho Mike have long nails? How's he going to do that? Charles Crowley saying he does not like that. Oh, that's the trigger word. We got to get out of here. Charles Crowley looking in the top hat, saying there's no body slams in there. Psycho Mike's just getting into position at this point. Charles Crowley has the hat. Now, he did pull uh, a punch. Charles Crowley looking to perform a little magic here. Psycho Mike does love a good magic trick. He does. 
He's a great audience member too. Uh, a how do you do that, if you will. And here you go. Psycho Mike sitting crisscross applesauce. We are ready to see some magic here. I've never called a magic show before. One more for the bucket list. <laughs> Now we did see something come out of this hat last night and it was a it was a punch in the face, spoiler alert. There were a few of those in there. May not be that tonight though. Yeah, it looks like it is. Oh, and down goes Psycho Mike. Now that was a closed fist, Blake, and um, Charles Crowley is wasting time here. He may have a three count on his hands if he would have covered Mike. We saw yesterday this go a very different way for Charles Crowley. He pulled a fist out of that uh -oh. hat. Uh-oh. Blake, Psycho Mike's feelings are hurt. Look at the sadness on his face. It's not just the punch in the face. It's the, it's the principle of the matter. It's the betrayal that hurts the most. The betrayal that hurts the second most. The punch in the face hurts the most, but the betrayal the second most. And Mr. Charles Crowley wants to come back to Smash Wrestling, I'm sure. But he's he's hurting the wrong feelings. And Psycho Mike air popping the boot. Uh oh. The crowd demanding an apology from Charles Crowley. Looks like he'll oblige. Well, that was a very nice apology, Blake. And he's going for the hug here. Is Psycho Mike going to forgive him? I have a feeling that he's he's putting himself in a bit of a precarious position, and he doesn't even know it yet. Oh, he's just shy. Big hug there, and all is right in the world again. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, Psycho Mike uh -oh. has a little smile on his face. Psycho Mike holding on now. Uh oh, 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 and Crowley is getting out of there. He wants nothing to do with this body slam. Charles Crowley on the run here. Oh boy. Psycho Mike has him halfway through. He's got the body. Now he just needs the slam. Oh, 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 and oh, Charles Crowley digs out of it there. Boo! No! Okay, and Psycho Mike. Now, I've seen Crowley pull that move off even when an opponent ducks. He has a lot of agility, a lot of athleticism, and I think that gets lost sometimes with all the other stuff going on with Charles Crowley. Uh, that's a vicious enziguri, and now he's going up top. Charles Crowley is obviously well known for his pageantry, rightfully so, but the man can throw a strike and make, well, we've lost a balloon. Blake, we've lost a balloon. Crowley up top with a balloon. Oh. And he eats a boot from Psycho Mike. And down goes Crowley. The only one standing is the balloon. Two. Oh, then the balloon saved by the balloon. I, I unbelievable. Now, Blake, you're a man of rules. Does this count as an international object? I don't think so. I mean, he's he's holding it. He hasn't hit Mike with it. Mike could remove it very easily, but he's fascinated by it. Well, I'm a little fascinated by it. If we're being honest, I mean, the... I'm also a little fascinated. The one that got away from Charles Crowley has disappeared in the roof here at the rec room. We should also point out as well that we mentioned earlier that gravity never wins or new, never loses, we should say. It's currently losing. Like, oh. We've got a sleeper, though. Now, my question is, is Psycho Mike trying to take Charles Crowley down with this or just lower the balloon? He may be just fighting the balloon at this point, but I also need to think. I think we need to point out that there's a chance that Charles Crowley is um, 
a little more dangerous asleep. There's a possibility of that that we don't know about. Well, he doesn't have the balloon in that arm. That's a two. All right, let's get ready here. We're going to see a, a – oh, he traded the – and okay. The Saved by the balloon again, and at some point something's got to pop here. Oh, jawjacker. Boom, and a big tackle by Psycho Mike after lots and lots of uh, reverse gravity shenanigans. Charles Crowley and the balloon doing a great job of aiding Psycho Mike there for a little bit. Give the people what they want, Psycho Mike. And there it is. The colossal body slam and uh-oh. Crowley couldn't gouge his way out of that one, but he's just floating right back to his feet. We got a real problem on our hands here. The balloon, it may be Chekhov's balloon at this point. There's a second body slam from Psycho Mike. This crowd in Toronto, hungry, thirsty for body slams. And Psycho Mike happy to oblige, and the balloon seems to have turned on Mr. Charles Crowley now and is now assisting Psycho Mike. He could just let it go. This is like getting stuck in a rat trap or, or in a vending machine. All you gotta do is let go, Charles. How many vending machines have you gotten your arm stuck in? Enough. Psycho Mike is just toying with Charles Crowley at this point, and the balloon takes a kick in the head for its troubles. The resilience on that balloon. Still getting up. It's Mike's balloon now. Blake, did I just hear? Oh my God, Psycho Mike is gonna. First Sebastian the monkey and now this. Where does it end? Charles Crowley a little more worried. And up. Oh, going for the cover here. Close the balloon. Just the two count. Now we saw Charles Crowley sacrifice Sebastian the monkey against John Greed yesterday. And now we don't have Sebastian out here. But seemed willing, seemed Ooh. unwilling rather back sent on Splash. It's very clear that the few friends Charles Crowley has get sacrificed. I was going to say are imaginary, but yeah, get sacrificed as well. Charles Crowley asking the referee to retrieve his balloon. You have to wonder, too, if Charles Crowley had the same level of strategic preparation for this one. I told you yesterday, my sources in the British wrestling scene told me that the rumors are that Sebastian the Monkey talks to Charles Crowley. Who did he strategize with before this one, if not Sebastian? I have a feeling he got told off by Sebastian the Monkey. Oh! What's left of it anyway? Psycho Mike's head bouncing off that turnbuckle and it sounded like he hit the hard metal behind the pad. Eating some boot here. And we schoolboy here, one, two, and Psycho Mike kicks out. The king of the carnival lining up for something here. Now my question is, do the balloons get a payday as well or do they share with Charles Crowley? I think they're just part of Crowley's rider. Wait, we supplied the balloons? I mean, he didn't fly here with him. He lives out of a suitcase. Cartwheel for Crowley. No, that's not a good idea. You're just going to wake Psycho Mike up. Now, there's a lot of things going on in this ring right now, Blake, and I, I fail to have words for all of them. Psycho Mike on wobbly legs as we get another cartwheel and a big slap by Psycho Mike. Now, let's not forget that Psycho Mike is no slouch. Sure, we joke about the body slam, but at the same time, he can go. Former tag team champion here in Smash. Boom, and a big cross body block. Psycho Mike feeds to the apron. Looking for a springboard here. And a drop kick, and that one caught Charles Crowley right in the chin. Right into a pin. There it is. No. Oh. Crowley out of just before three. I thought he had him there. Crowley had to take a breather there when 
Cycle Mike was in the corner to adjust his ring gear. It looks like, I know Crowley is billed as out of a suitcase. I assumed it was because he wears his welcome out so quickly. I think he stitches his own tights together from scraps. I think he just wears everything that's in his suitcase at the same time. Cycle Mike with a front head and arm here. Now, Cycle Mike has used that Fisherman Buster in the past uh, to very, very strong success. Yeah, if the body slam that. gets the headline, but that Fisherman Buster's nasty. Spinning strike there from Crowley. Ooh, with a shotgun dropkick. Cycle Mike hits the corner hard. And it looks like Charles Crowley going to the apron here. Are we going to see a coast to coast here, Blake? Does he have the distance? Oh, and then some. He could have gone into the first row here at the rec room. He caught Cycle Mike right on the temple. We've got ourselves a one, a two, and that one. Oh, my goodness. Cycle Mike just getting out of that one. Saw the balloon on the on the rooftop. Wasn't sure if he was looking at the lights or balloons. Managed to get a shoulder up. But what a, what a move from Crowley. Very impressive to see him go as far as he did. And uh, on top of that, he covered the distance with ease. Uh, this far in the match, that's impressive. Comes up empty on that one, Ooh. though. And Cycle Mike with that running pump kick. <laughs> the screaming lariat from Psycho Mike here. Psycho Mike pressing the uh, direction pad up for the <laughs> wake-up taunt here. Crowley lost a piece of that ring gear, by the way. Are the, are the fans chanting murder? Crowley avoids that one. Going for a body slam of his own? Oh, that's, that's that swinging power slam. Whoa, and Psycho Mike, are we sure that that wasn't three? The merry-go-down doesn't keep Psycho Mike on the ground for three. Crowley loses another piece of the ring gear. At this point, I think he's losing his patience, his mind, his ring gear, everything that he's got left. He's lost two balloons, an armband, a wristband, a monkey. He's going to go home back to England with a net loss here. As long as he comes out with a win in this match, though, I think he'll be pretty happy with it. Already won and always a smash career. When he went for that uh, spinning, clubbing hammer that we saw last night, and Cycle Mike got the boot up. Boom! And then a spinning pump kick. Cycle Mike pulling out all the hits tonight. And we know Cycle Mike loves firing the crowd up. First show back here in Toronto. But a lot of time here after those two spinning pump kicks. Wait, wait a minute, hold on here. Not this guy again. Are we Are we still doing this? Apparently. You missed it yesterday. I had to sit next to Litigator Luke. Oh no, Charles Crowley with a low blow using the distraction to his advantage. Oh, and another, and another one. low blow. That's two. And a third one for good measure. Psycho Mike's Little Mike's. Hit him with a, I believe that was a spinning hip attack, Blake. After Crowley picking Mike back up, he's not done yet. Oh, and he caught him with a spinning uppercut there. It's a cover. And that keeps him down for three. Psycho Litigator Psycho Luke tossed Psycho, Psycho Mike one again. That sniveling weasel. That's the same move Crowley used to defeat John Green yesterday. I asked him what he called it after. He told me not to worry about it. When this guy says he's a spectacular twat, he is not kidding. But very impressive in his showing here. 2-0 and on the weekend for Smash Wrestling. Mr. Charles Crowley, definitely one to watch, as I'm sure we've not seen the last of him. Well, he certainly earned another chance to come back here to Smash Wrestling. And a win over Psycho Mike, even though Psycho Mike's had a tough weekend with three losses now, because don't forget, he lost to Daiquiri, the Australian Shepherd, yesterday as well. I think Daiquiri was on the gas, though. Yeah. Rocketing up the rankings, though. Tough weekend for Psycho Mike, but... He is one of the best and most established Smash Wrestling veterans. These are two huge wins for Charles Crowley. Maybe against the two most experienced Smash Wrestlers in John Green and Psycho Mike. Very impressive showing for Charles Crowley and... Uh
I don't. As he flips off the crowd on his way out. For the Toronto guts, nice. Yeah, my man Crowley. Everyone, give it up for Crowley. Yeah. Okay. He thought he was getting a contract. How cute is that? But, Mike, I realize this is a bit off, but I cost you a match two days in a row, and I apologize. But, as the saying goes, body slam me once, shame on you. Body slam me twice, shame on me. But there will be no third body slamming, because, Mike, there's an issue with this contract. You wrote Psycho Mike, not your legal name. So, we'll be meeting again. And next time, there will be backup. Bye bye, and say your farewells to Psycho Mike. Well, Psycho Mike almost had his feet on uh, Litigator Luke there, but uh, I don't know what to make of that. 